Hey guys, HTV here, and welcome back to a brand new video going over Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at all of the potential hidden Pokemon that were shown in the last trailer. Now, of course, there weren't as many as the last trailers with, like, the elephant Pokemon and then that lightning bolt dog and everything like that, but there was still some potentials found in the last trailer. So that's what we're going to go over today, as well as some things that you may have missed. So if you are excited for the video, please do consider hitting that like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes as always on these videos. I really do appreciate it. Make sure to leave a comment down below with anything else that, you know, could be a potential Pokemon that I haven't gone over in this video. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say and if you have found anything that we haven't. And of course, subscribe as well if you're brand new. With all of that out of the way though, guys, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So starting things off, this is the first image. Now this is kind of like, yeah, it could be a new, it, it could be a new Pokemon, but at the end of the day, it, it could just be one of those like Dragonite statues and stuff. Um, but to be fair, we don't really see Dragonite statues anywhere, and obviously, we usually get Rhydon statues, and then this isn't a Rhydon at all because it's, it's got wings. And the last time I checked, Rhydon didn't have no wings, so uh, this potentially could be a Dragonite. Uh, we don't even know if Dragonite is in Pokemon Sword and Shield yet. It could be, it could not be. Um, but as we can see, this looks like a stadium of a gym um, right here. And then just like right here, there's just like a little mini statue of a Pokemon. Now, this could be Dragonite, but it could also be that Meteodyne Pokemon. So there's been a couple of rumors saying that it is a small white dragon. And this looks like a small white dragon. I mean, it has like horns and stuff. So it could just be a random statue of just like a random Pokemon animal thing. Or it generally just could be like a mythical or a legendary and then that's why it has a statue because obviously there's a statue of the hero um, Just like a, the hero in like a massive knight uniform and stuff like that So maybe they also made a statue of this Pokemon because it helped the hero do whatever the hero did um, I don't know maybe I'm clutching at straws here, but it definitely could be um, a legit new Pokemon and, and this was shown in the last trailer So I don't know it looks like it's in some sort of office kind of thing because this is clearly a window um, So maybe it's just in like an important building but yeah, like I say, this is obviously the football pitch, the, the gym. Uh, you can see all the stands here where people are going to be. Um, and this is obviously the, the gym battle stadium thingy. But yeah, I don't know. I saw this. I don't think anyone else has really touched upon this. But yeah, I saw it and I was like, you know what? It looks like Dragonite. But at the end of the day, it, Dragonite doesn't have horns. Um, it's got not really got the, like, the same facial features as Dragonite. And obviously, it's really, really small. If you're going to make a Dragonite statue, you'd probably make a bigger one. And it's definitely not Rhydon as well because it has wings. So... I'm not saying it's, I don't think it's Rhydon or Dragonite. I think it could potentially be a new Pokemon, but I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about this one. Um, so yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> next, next up, we do have this image. Now, this isn't a Pokemon, but it's something that's very, very interesting because on Team Yell, which obviously is a new potential like evil team, I hope there's obviously another one because Team Yell sucks. <laughs> but um, yeah, on Team Yell, they do have these little symbols here uh, with this little like star kind of sign thing. And this actually appears on the poker jobs now if you don't know what poker jobs are it was basically like a brand new feature introduced in the last trailer um it's just like different little things you can do when you send pokemon to do them and then they gain experience points and i think items and stuff like that it's all on the website um but if you can look closely um this is actually the exact same symbol that pops up here it's the exact same symbol so why is team yell got a job symbol on on the uniform and stuff and obviously it's on the website right here you can see so this is the screenshot that's taken from this thing here and it like this one says to protect our investments help with cooking help wanted on our farm we need some nets and then this just says nothing i'm guessing it says nothing to show so this is obviously some sort of secret thing so maybe there's actually more to team yell than we know maybe they're just like marnie's fanboys and girls just to cover up a bigger thing maybe they're actually working for elena or chairman rose or even leon or something like that so it's very interesting why this is a job you know and it's associated with team yell because there are many places requesting the help of pokemon including corporations and universities so they're requesting the help of your pokemon and it's something to do with team yell so maybe a, a bigger like threat is people send their pokemon over to the team yell corporation and they just don't get them back maybe they steal them or something like that i don't know again might just be clutching at straws but it, it's just a little bit odd that the team yell do have the exact same symbol as something on pokey jobs i don't know what do you guys think about this because i don't know it's a little bit weird and we haven't really there's not really anything about this symbol anywhere else on the website it just kind of naturally covers it up to be fair but like i say pokemon like doing that they're like sprinkling a little bit of you know 
detective work on the uh, and the trailers and stuff and on the website because this isn't even in the English trailer. Like this was only shown in the Japanese trailer, which makes no sense to me. Like it's a huge feature for the Pokemon games, and they just didn't even bother putting it in the English trailer. Like the Japanese trailer is like a minute long extra just because it goes over all the Pokejob stuff. And Pokejob sounds like a cool thing as well. Like it looks like a cool idea, and I'm excited to try it. I just want to know what Team Yells inclusion in this is i hate that it says half there i hate that it blocks it out so obviously they know it's sneaky and important like why else would they block it out like this is obviously a closer picture they, they, they block out here and i'm pretty sure that says nothing to show because you can kind of make out an s there but yeah they just block it out with half day so i don't know i think it's very very interesting a little bit sneaky that it's the only one that got blocked out and then it obviously has the exact same symbol of team yell i don't know call me a detective but i think it's a little bit interesting and then last but not least, we do have this image here. Now, there's two things I want to talk about in this image. And the first one is obviously the hoot hoot at the top with the book on its head. Now, a lot of people are saying that this is a Galarian hoot hoot. And of course, it could be. Um, I think it's mainly just a bookshop. And then hoot hoot might just be like the kind of uh, mascot for it or something like that or how they sell it. I can't really see there being a, a Pokemon with a book on its head. But then again, it's got like a little wand as well. Like this is clearly a hoot hoot, and it, it could be a glaring hoot. -hoo. Like there's been a lot of rumors about like a snowy noctowl and stuff, and um, different things about like glaring hoot hoot. It popped up in a few rumors. Now some of those rumors obviously have turned out to be false. In fact, pretty much every rumor has turned out to be false apart from Ben Affleck leak. Um, but there was nothing about a hoot hoot in that. All it said was um, some Pokemon like Farfetch get Glarian forms. And as we know, Zigzagoon gets one, uh, Weezing gets one, obviously Lanoon gets one. Obviously, Goon you could say is a Glarian form, but at the end of the day, it's not really a Glarian form because it only evolves in Galar, so it's technically a new Pokemon because Lanoon doesn't evolve into uh, Obstagoon outside of Galar. So I wouldn't even say that Obstagoon is a Glarian form, but. I didn't say anything about Hoot Hoot, but I'm sure there'll be like 20 odd Galarian forms just like there were Alola forms. So I don't necessarily think that Hoot Hoot here is a Galarian form. I think it's generally just like the mascot of this bookshelf. But the fact that they showed this means that it is important in some way. Maybe it is related to the jobs or something like that because we never really had book, we've never had bookshops, I don't think, in Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I, I'm wondering what the kind of importance of a bookshop in Pokemon Sword and Shield is. Maybe. Maybe one of the characters likes going there a lot or something like that. But um, that's not the main thing I wanted to take a look at in this picture. If you actually zoom in a little bit, and then again, we actually have this picture here. It's on the right down here, um, just above this like little lady ladybug thingy. Um, but yeah, now this looks like a Pokemon to me. I think this is the biggest one that looks like, um, the, the, I don't know, the, mo the most likely to be a Pokemon. Now, first, like straight off the bat, it does look like a, potentially a snowy Noctowl. Um, it could be, but I kind of think it looks a little bit like Piplup. I don't know. You kind of got like the little round head there, the little beak. It kind of looks like he's got a bit of a tux on, like the little bow tie there and then a little tuxedo on. And then these like look like white wings. These look like snow um, droplets falling down. This is like a little tail here. And then it has like little feet. So this could easily be like a new snowy bird Pokemon, or it could be Gigantamax Piplup. There was a... Um, rumor about Piplup getting a Gigantamax form, which seemed so crazy and bizarre because, like, why would Piplup randomly get one? We do know that obviously you don't have to be fully evolved to get a Gigantamax form, but why would they give one to Piplup? It's such a random Pokemon. But now I see this, it's kind of like, oh, maybe it is getting one. So, I don't know, it could easily be like a Galarian knocked out, it could be like a Galarian form, it could be a completely random new Pokemon. Um, but to me, it, I don't know, it, it generally just looks like a snowy Piplup, so. What do you guys think about that? So do you think that Hoo Hoo is one? Um, but more importantly, do you think that this is like a, a brand new Pokemon? I, I think it could be. I think it's definitely the most likely. Um, and then obviously we have this thing here, which is like the potential Dragonite, potential new Pokemon. Definitely isn't a Rhydon. Um, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys have to say about everything that we have covered in today's video. And also, what do you think about the whole Team Yell situation as well? Because that's very, very interesting. That is going to be everything for today's video, though, guys. I really, really hope you did enjoy. Um, I always do like taking a more of a look at the trailers and, and seeing if we do if I can spot anything that you guys uh, may have not seen or that I didn't see first time watching it. And then you guys do send me a couple things as well. Um, so, yeah, if you ever see anything in the trailers that you want me to cover in a video, just let me know. Um, throw it to me on Twitter or something. My Twitter is just in the description down below. And, yeah, I'll, I'll definitely cover it if there's, like, a decent amount of evidence and stuff. So, that's going to be everything for today's video, though, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Make sure to like comment subscribe turn on notifications everything from you guys have a fantastic rest of your day till next time peace